Hey guys, GW here. I want to show you two secrets that the developers want us to find out in Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. They shed some light into how the developers had create Chapter 2 and all the effort that it took to assemble this game. So it took countless hours to put together and I think they left us some breadcrumbs for us to find all that effort. Let's check it out. Starting out in the lobby, what you can do is go through this gap in the fence on the right hand side over by the do not enter. A little sneaky, but it's right there and available. They still have not patched that. It's been available since they came out with Chapter 2 a month or two ago. And so what you're able to do is crawl through this and walk down the roadway and you can head towards the Ferris wheel. Now there's no theme park that's accessible. If you look to the left, there's just a little cluster of woods and nothing really over there interesting to see. But if you head to the right, you're going to go through these woods and be able to access part of chapter one. So let's skip over to that. OK, so as you walk alongside the wall, you're able to see the building that you came through when you escaped blue and rainbow friends chapter one. And then part of it is revealed to us so we can crawl in through there. And look at this, it's the vent. It's the vent for chapter one that you get through and are chased by blue. And look, it almost matches what was there in chapter one. So they kind of left this here, I guess, to start the game out. Look, I'm running for blue. Ah! <laughs> I wonder if I can get through this side of the vent. Ah, no, no, we're not able to. All right, and I'll, other than that, there's just a little blue box here with a dot in it. Nothing too exciting, but that's what's in the back of chapter two's lobby. Let me show you the next secret. Okay, guys, to see that next secret, you're going to want to start a new game of Rainbow Friends. And it doesn't matter which hour or night. you're. Okay, now that you're in the creek, you want to get to this rock right here that's sloped. Climb up it, walk through these trees, and then there'll be another stone that's gray color. Climb that and wiggle on the right side by the glacier. And then you're going to be able to climb the zipline mountain. So over on this way, you can wiggle your way up like this, and you're on the arch. And you made it to the top. Congratulations. But guess what? There's more to see. So what you're going to want to do is hop over the hospital building to the left right here and then slowly walk your way over this stone arch. Be careful not to fall. Get over onto the hedge. And once you've gotten to about this spot, you're going to want to fall. Wee! That's it. And you've glitched through. And you made it to the bottom of the map. So from here, you're going to be able to see the roller coaster in the background and see everything related to Orange's building. Oh my gosh, that theme park was so awesome. And so what you can see from the bottom is all the way at the end where you escape. And right there, as you look that way underneath, you can see a skin, a Roblox skin of blue in animation mode. Oh, there it is. And I fell, so I have to get back there again, but I'll show you some more. Okay, I made it back down. As you can see, there's a little box here with a pink square. Not exactly sure what that's for, but it's part of what the developers use to create things. And over here is another box with an arrow. But in the distance, I can see some exciting things. So let's check that out. And right over here is real interesting. We've got the two rainbow friends, green and blue, stuck together with a little block at their waist side, holding them together, I guess. Very interesting. Over here, we have a cloud where Purple sits whenever he's in his maze. But right now, his hands are just laying still. And I think what we got here is a really long arm that you don't see the whole thing when you're going through the maze. But that's what the model is for Purple. So he isn't just hands. He also has the cloud that's following him. And then up ahead is a jump scare. Let's check that out. Wow, look at this. It's a black box that kind of hides the rest of the area with a jump scare for what looks like Purple's face when he comes and gets you. So I think this is the area that you get teleported to whenever you do get jump scared. And then one of these animations for the jump scare face shows up. Now that is creepy. I don't think I want to, <laughs> I don't think I want to get jump scared anytime soon, guys. I think there's just a little more here to check out on this floor. All right, so we're headed up on some mountain blocks. And I think this is what's used to make the zip line course. And I really enjoy all the effort that it takes to make these different shapes. You can see here, here's some blocks. It's weird, you can just walk right through them. Maybe I can walk through the big one? Yeah. Inside, there's really nothing. But this is it. This is what the zipline course was made out of. So I think this is really cool. And that's really about everything. And other than that, you could just get a really good glimpse of the roller coaster. But those are two things that the developers wanted you to find out because it probably took a lot of effort to make this game. And they're just little glitches that they haven't patched out yet. They're easy for us to access to. And if you're down here at this point, there's nothing left to do but reset your character or die and start all over again. So leave a comment down below if you thought this was really cool and informative. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll catch you all in the next video. Until next time. Later, dudes.